What's up now? How's everybody doing? Good evening. Well, let me check my volume. I didn't do that. I thought I had done ever I did everything except okay, it's too loud. Too loud. How's everybody doing? Wait, is it too loud? Okay, okay, okay. Perfection. We're about to talk about some Tim Burton. Uh, yep, yep. Pop, pow, pow. I was trying to find some um, music to go in the background, you know, just so it's not so quiet up in here. Couldn't catch it, the, the correct Tim Burton vibe that I was looking for. So this one I just have to do. <clears throat> oh, hey, Angel. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm late to start, girl. I'm trying to get everything. Okay. Chat. I am here in my own chat. Yay. While I'm here in my own chat. Um, okay, boom. Wait. Okay. I think I did it. Type again, Angel. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I couldn't find the right vibe of uh, Tim Burton music for the background. So, this will just have to do. This is kind of soft, I think. But it, it'll have to do for now. Maybe I'll try one more again. I'll try one more again. And then wh whatever I land on. That's the move. Um, I'm going to go with this one. Boom. This is the one I live at. All right. Okay. Let me first give you, a, man, a, a lot of research, a lot of paper um, for Mr. Burton, but I've narrowed it down to some, a little, some little crib notes. Got me some little crib notes. All right. I hope y'all can hear me. Um, you can't hear me, right? Okay. My circle is moving. Okay. Okay. So Tim Burton was born in Burbank, California, August of uh, 1958, which make him currently 65 years old. He's director, producer, writer, and animator. He's the first of his kind to introduce goth culture um, in movies like goth fantasy and goth horror. Um, he won an Emmy, a Golden Globe. He was nominated for two Academy Awards. He won three BAFTAs. Um, in 2007, he won a Lifetime Achievement uh, Venice International Film Festival and in 2010, and this was really strange because I don't even know what the hell this means, but you know, but in 2010, he won Order of the Arts and Letters by Culture Minister of France. The Culture Minister of France gave him an Order of the Arts and Letters. Uh, that's what it says, you know. All right, now that's all the particulars, okay. That's all. That's Tim Burton. That's all the particulars. And then, you know, I'm going into his personal life a little bit because I really love his wife, uh, ex-wife, uh, ex-not wife, the mother of his children, who he puts in, like, all his movies. Um, what's her name? Hannah. Damn it, I should have wrote her name down. She's so important. Hannah. Now I got to look. Hold on. Hey, JB, how you doing? I forget her name. She is such a great actress, and he puts her in all his movies. And I really, really love her, and I really should know her name. I really just should, just because. You know, what are you doing? Uh -huh. uh, we'll put wife. His current wife is a hottie. Um, Lena. Lena. Helena. Her name is Helena, damn it. I was close. I said Hannah. Helena bon Bonham Carter. Really love her. She's a great actress. Like I said, anyway. Enough about his personal life and his two children who look like, a, it's like um, <laughs> when I saw his children, their, their children, it's like um, Jada Pinkett and Will Smith's kids. Like sometimes they both look like either one. Like sometimes little Willow looks like uh, Jada. Sometimes she looks like Will. Same thing with Jaden. Their kids are the same. Tim Burton and Helena's kids are the same. Sometimes they look like him. Sometimes they look like her. Okay. Uh, we're getting off into Tim Burton, um, JB. I know that anyone um, pretty much alive uh, since, um, what was this first one? You was that the first one? Since 1985, you know what I'm saying? Has some sort of um, Tim Burton up in them. Somewhere, somewhere, you have to. So, yeah, so his first um, big movie was Pee Wee's Playhouse. That was in 85. Um, pig, I'm sorry, Pee Wee's Big Playhouse. You got to put the big in there. I remember this movie, and it was so good because of the show. I really liked, you know, Pee Wee's Playhouse. I, 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 you know, and I was not a little person. <laughs> How old is I? Eighty-five. Fourteen. 
So, you know what I'm saying? 14, maybe 15, uh, depending upon, you know, how close to the next year it was. But I really liked Pee Wee's Playhouse. It was hilarious. Um, uh, and so the movie was great, too. Like, I, this movie came along. It was so, uh, you know, strange. Um, the colors and the design, um, the patterns and the all that uh, just oddness was amazing. Amazing. I'll tell you what, when I was writing this list of movies, and I didn't write them all down. I'll keep it real. But I wrote the bulk of them. Um, when I wrote, was writing down these movies, and I'm like, oh, my God, I love that movie. Oh, I forgot about that. But, oh, I love that movie. Oh, I love it. Hands down, there was one movie on this list that stood above all of them. Because as I was writing it, I was like, oh, my God. I love Right? That was the reaction. Oh, my God. So, although I was like, oh, I love that movie. Oh, 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 oh. One, and I'll tell you later. Hands down. Is my prayer. I've watched it many times and I still will laugh and cry and laugh and cry. Anyway. All right. So you got the Pee Wee's Big Playhouse. Then there's Beetlejuice. Um, Angel Part Two coming in uh in September. I'm fucking there. I don't know if you've seen the trailer or not. Um, but uh in the trailer they show all the original cast. They show Michael Keaton, they show that one lady, I forget her name, the mother, the one who played the mother. They even showed a little clip of like why not a writer, but then they got the you know the main girl uh, um, that they're showing is the girl who played Wednesday Adams. So it's interesting. I can't wait to see it. Yay, Beetlejuice! I really like Michael Keaton um, as an actor too. He was really good, um, uh, in my opinion. I liked him. In, uh, he's better goofy than serious. But sorry, Batman people. Sorry. Hands down, best Batman for me was Michael Ke Michael Keaton. Sorry, Jesus Christ. Please don't put the bat signal in the sky to come and snipe me out because I think Michael Keaton played the best Batman. And that... <clears throat> uh, then there was Edward Scissorhands. Oh, my God. Uh, this is the introduction to uh, Johnny Depp um, with him. Hey, uh, 3,000 degrees. How you doing? Um, hey, pretty eyes. How you doing? Up here talking about Tim Barton. Um, like Michael Keaton, a a Angel. Um, what was I saying? I read the chat. You get distracted when you see. You're not supposed to do that. Uh, oh, see, I wrote it down. Edward Scissorhands. Oh, man. That was so great. Um, this is the introduction to Johnny Depp. Um, for whatever reason, Tim Burton, you know, really took a shine to Johnny Depp. And like I said, if you're a fan, you know that even in the like the animated ones where it's not actual people, it was still Johnny Depp all the way. Like, he really liked Johnny Depp, and he really liked the way Helena looked, too. And he liked pairing them together, and he did that a lot. Loved it. Tim Burton. That goth fantasy, goth horror. He really, you know, he really struck where, where there was no market. You know, he really did. He struck out, man. Uh, James and the Giant Peach. Let's listen to me. So when I was doing my little research here and I was um, looking on the list, James and the Giant Peach wasn't on the list. And I was like, why isn't James and the Giant Peach on the list? Because fuck you. Uh, fuck you. I love that movie. So I had to actually go and search James and the Giant Peach. So he did produce it, but he didn't direct it. It was written and directed by a whole other dude, which I talked about here before um, on a past movie. I forget which one, because I remember I recognize his name. But yeah, he only produced it. But James and the Chai and Peach, yeah, yes. And he also he directed several episodes of the the. I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. Uh, the show that was just on what was that Hulu the Wednesday show, the Wednesday Adams show. He did some of those uh, too. Back to the movies. All right, Edward Scissorhands. How y'all feel? How y'all feeling? At, oh my God, Pretty Eyes just said it. She said it. She put it in the chat. That's my favorite one, uh, Pretty Eyes. I can watch that. I can watch Big Fish right the fuck now. I can end this live stream and go watch Big Fish, and I will laugh and cry. I swear to God. And then I can get up tomorrow and put on Big Fish, and I will laugh and I will cry. Big Fish, hands down, my favorite Tim Burton movie. I love Big Fish. It was such a good story. The way they um, the way they filmed it was amazing. The the colors, the way they made that house 
a dilapidated that she lived in. I love that. The town that he found off in the middle of nothing. Y'all got to watch Big Fish. If you have not seen Big Fish, please find Big Fish and watch it. Pretty eyes. Ruined everything. Okay. Then we got uh, Batman. He did Batman the 89 one. And then Batman Returns the 92 one. He did both of those. Uh, okay. Corpse Bride. Hello. Hello, Corpse Bride. What? Corpse Bride, again, is another one. I, I could just watch it. I, I, and it's a, it's an animated one. You know what I'm saying? It's not actual people. I could just watch it. I could just fucking watch I swear I could just watch it all the time. Corpse Bride, yes. How did these movies affect your childhood? Did he influence you? He made, he's goth horror, goth fantasy, but man, he's in there. You know, he's in he's in there. He's all up in my... I think he... he he inspires like imagine he inspired like imagination in children in a way that like you know Disney and Nickelodeon oh god that's a bad word nowadays Disney and whatnot did um you know what I'm saying uh it was it, to me it, it, it was like um you know how you had that one kid you went to school with that was kind of weird maybe even had dark hair or you know wore dark clothes but they were kind of artsy uh, I, I don't know well, this, like, it's Tim Burton, like, gave them life, and they burst it out, and now we're seeing them all over the place in film and screenplays. Thank you to the godfather, Tim Burton. You're all welcome. Frank and Weenie, Mars Attacks was hilarious. Mars Attacks, um, from, what year was that? Oh, I wrote it down. Mars Attacks, 96. Hilarious. <laughs> The aliens were the best. Come on, man. How did y'all feel about Mars Attacks? Um, I don't think he did Coraline. I, I, you know what? He may have. I don't, but it wasn't on the list anywhere. I had forgotten all about Coraline. Let's look it up right now. I, I don't know, but I love that movie too. I just watched that movie like a month ago. I tried to get my grandboy to watch it. He wasn't into it, so I watched it with him. You know. This says Henry Salick. Henry Salick um, directed it. So let me probably ask. Yeah, I don't think he had anything to do with Coraline. Um, Tim Burton. I love Coraline. My grand boy, I'm telling you, I've been watching um, so many cartoons, and I'll put it on for him to watch. Um, yeah, no. No, he didn't have anything to do with Coraline. But it was a similar. He he birthed that idea. He birthed that, huh? He birthed that. He, he birthed that inspiration into that man to make that shit. Give it up to Tim Burton. Okay. Okay, Angel. Sure, Doctor. That's that's a good. Uh, yeah, Doctor Seuss and uh, Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, Planet of the Apes, two thousand and one, the way way back one. Sleepy fucking hollow. How do you feel about Sleepy Hollow? O M G. You know, you you gotta love Johnny Depp um when he does like this one and Sweeney Todd when he did the Sweeney Todd one. That's another one. Um the the barber, what was it called? There's a whole it's a whole title. Sweeney Todd, the demon barber of Fleet Street. When the, you know that dark bit when Johnny Johnny Depp does those dark bits. I really like that um, because of his because he's so hot. First of all, he's very attractive, but it's he's got that like sarcasm in his eyes and goofiness about him. That's super sexy to me. I don't know why. Go Johnny Depp. Go dark Johnny Depp. Yay! See how a big fish. Yay! Alice in Wonderland. He also did, um, I don't know, some people have never seen this one, but it's called Alice Through the Looking Glass. Um, I actually had the DVD for years, and my kids loved it, and we watch it. It's like a part two to Alice in Wonderland. It's pretty fucking good. If you've never seen um, Alice Through the Looking Glass, look for it. Um, that was from 2016, and that'll help your search. Um, see if you have a big fish. I was wondering, Dark Shadows, Dumbo. Uh, you know, Wonka, Charlie Choc Chocolate Factory, Edward, Big Eyes. That's a, uh, oh, Big Eyes. I watched that. Um, 
Have y'all seen that movie, Big Eyes? That was pretty good. Um, I watched that just recently, a couple months ago, actually. Have you seen that one? Anyone? Anyone? Um, Nightmare Before Christmas. Yes. Okay, I think I named all his accolades. All the movies that I'm about to write down. Now I can just talk, run my shit. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Tim Burton, uh, you know, when I think of him, I think the first memory I really have of any work he did was James and the Giant Peach. That was the first. I was like, wow, this is really the way they made it. You know, um, uh, there's a, a word for it, the way they filmed it. It's like second by second, freezing the frame. And, you know, they did, it was so cool. I was like, this is like the coolest thing I've ever seen, I think. And then just seeing him, his, his, his ideas grow and um, how he grew and uh, he, you know, he, how he incorporated the same people over and over in his movies, kind of like, you know, like, uh, like Apatow uses the same guys. And um, that was cool to see. Uh, it's always cool to see with Tim Burton, man. I, I, w I hope that he's right, right now writing some crazy shit that I'm going to see at the end of the year. Uh, after Beetlejuice, more, more, <laughs> more creepy shit, please, more, more. I'll tell you what, when that Beetlejuice two comes out, I'm gonna be um, uh, doing some illegal uh, <laughs> viewing, some illegal, well, illegal streaming. CP Hollow was good, Angel. I don't think that was him, um, Pretty Eyes, but it could be. Like I said, I didn't write everything down um, because when you look at it on IMDb or just uh, Wikipedia, it'll start breaking shit down by episodes, and I ain't finna do all that. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I you know, this fool took up three pieces of my paper. That you know, but yet yeah, Tim, all, all my kids, he's influenced them in some way. They all have some, especially my two younger kids. They really love Tim Burton, and um, he definitely, yeah, has, I zoned out. He definitely has had a um, a, a big Im impact on uh, art, really, um, in movie when it comes to like animation and stuff. If you think about, you know, some of those the animated movies that he's done. The artwork is just so great, and his ideas, it's great to see his brain splat. It's great to see his brain just splat on the screen. And then, um, kind of like, for me, kind of like Stephen King in that aspect, just to see the crazy shit that's going on in these people's heads, and then splat, it's just, uh, I'm just there. That's great, I love it. There's so much... Like, I would much rather, I swear, I would much rather go to the movies with a, let's say I'm going on a date with a dude. Well, uh, I would much rather go watch Big Fish than any shoot em up, drag em out, action, bullshit. Like, I really, let's go watch Big Fish. Uh, bring the tissue, because I'm going to cry. It, it's inevitable. There, I'm going to cry. I love Big Fish. Damn it, I might go find it later. Right, Pretty Eyes, I, you know, I had heard that they were going to make a part two to Beetlejuice, but I didn't really believe it, uh, and then I kind of forgot about it. Until I seen the trailer the other day, I was like, fuck, yes. Angel, how do we do a watch party? How is that possible? I can't, we can't do it on YouTube. We're going, uh, everybody's going over to Angel's to watch the movie. We're all going over to Angel's. What's up, Wes? How you doing? Oh, you know what? I never do this. That ain't right. Just in case. We're all going over to Angel's. I would love to do a watch party, Angel, um, and watch movies with y'all. But we would have to do that on like a Discord or something, isn't that? 
then I would have to download a whole other app and a whole bunch of bullshit. <laughs> have you ever seen Big Fish, Angel? It's with Danny DeVito. I don't Johnny Depp wasn't in that one. That was the one where Johnny Depp was not in. Um but um Helena was. Helena was in it. That was so good, man. The it's in case you haven't seen it, I'll give it I'll give you a little clue, a little talk about. It is a movie about a man who is um he's always been a big storyteller his whole life, and he tells the most outlandish stories. And all the crazy stories that he tells, he you know he tells them as if they happened to him personally, and he tells these stories to his son growing up. Hold on, oh, well let me finish running my mouth. His son, oh wait, I got I can't find the I can't find the hole. I can't get it in the hole, Angel. It's too tight. Oh, there it is. My ass is pushing the wrong, all the wrong buttons. Okay. Hello. Hey, girl. Go How ahead. you doing? Finish running your mouth about big fish, oh. and then I got you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so it's about um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's got these big stories. His son doesn't appreciate it. His son's embarrassed by these big stories he's been telling his whole life. Um, and then you know that the, his father gets ill and he's on his deathbed and the the boy the man i don't want to tell too much the man is struggling you know what not ah. but then uh, at the end oh god i don't want to tell the end oh god the son doesn't believe his stories his whole life he's embarrassed but then at the end after pops dies all the people from the story show up at his funeral oh my god that is all angel <laughs> Girl, I am so happy that you decided to do Tim Burton. It's like you making me a, a little kid again. Tim yeah. Burton for me was so impactful before I even understood that he was the person directing the movies. Like it's like you said, for me, the first one was the Pee Wee's Big Adventure. That movie was so magical and crazy to me. I had to have watched it a million times. Like, I literally knew all the dialogue in the movie. It made me laugh. It made me scared. It, made, it was just all these different emotions that would come out. But I didn't know who the director was. I was just too little to understand that type of thing. Right. Then it was, um, what was after that? Was it Batman? Uh, you know, I got my list. No, girl. it was Beetlejuice, I think. Beetlejuice was the other one that was just like obsession. Like I couldn't stop watching it. It brought yeah. out all the different emotions. And then when Batman came out, it was it was over. I remember like my parents taking me to see it like three times in the movies. And I remember getting like the VHS tape uh, for Christmas. <laughs> And I was so obsessed, but I never understood that this was the same person that was doing these movies until Nightmare Before Christmas. Because mm -hmm. when it was Nightmare Before Christmas, it was advertised Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. His name was in the title. Mm -hmm. And that was when I was old enough to go to the movies by myself. And I remember my cousin and I going to see that at least three or four times. We were obsessed with it. Tim Burton brings out the light and the dark, the, the angel and the devil, the yin and the yang, it brings out, I call his stuff whimsical or dark whimsical movies. It brings out every emotion in you and it's just so magical. So girl, yes, I am obsessed with Tim Burton, everything that he does. I've never seen a Tim Burton movie I didn't like and I will be there. I wouldn't have known about no Beetlejuice if it wasn't for you. So that's why I appreciate you so much because I'm not watching TV like that, you know? 
Yes. Girl, I'm going to be there day one. I cannot wait until that comes out. Michael Keaton, he was another one of my childhood crushes. And it was yes. because of, it was Johnny Dangerously first. I don't know if you remember that. And Absolutely. He, girl. <laughs> and then when he played Batman, it's like, look, I think it's a generational thing. There will be no Batman after Michael Keaton. There None. were some good ones, but he was the best. And it was the best. Of him. And it was that Tim Burton dark whimsical, that chimey whimsical music, but then the darkness of the movie. It is it, just, it's amazing. Girl, I've rambled enough. I just, I appreciate it. So you I did it, girl, it. go on ahead. <laughs> I get it, you're I right. Got. But yes, it brings up Sleepy <laughs> Hollow. Girl, I forgot all about that. Oh my right? gosh. That was yes. a good one. Yes. yes. I like how, <laughs> do you think that, do you think that if he would have casted anybody but Johnny Depp, that it would have had the same vibe? No. And and just like with Edward Scissorhands, I think he knew he hit gold when he found, because Johnny Depp embodies dark whimsical. Like, he mm -hmm. is the muse for Tim Burton, as well as Tim Burton's wife. Like, he hit the jackpot with those two people. So mm -hmm. it was natural that he would recast them as much as he did. Yeah. Because they mm -hmm. were the voices. Weren't they also the voices for um, the Corpse Cor Bride or am I yep. wrong? Yep. Yeah. No, you're right. I mean, yep. come on. Come on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, I'm very excited to see Beetlejuice too. also. Mm -hmm. um, Michael Keaton. I had a crush on him too. Um, <clears throat> I, honestly, I had a crush on him in Beetlejuice. And that may be weird. But I did. Yeah. I, I was like, you know, um, uh, you know, definitely um, the best Batman, SCFU, like hands down. Mm -hmm. um, but I liked him in like Mr. Mom. But he played this other movie, Michael Keaton did, where he was like, a, he broke out of prison. Did you see that one? He was uh, an Michael inmate in prison and he escaped from prison and he was, he was a real criminal and it was, he was a thug and it was kind of hot. I was like, Okay, Michael Keaton, how you doing? What was it called? Was it? Can't like, remember. Was it, it was after Batman or before? I think it was maybe after Batman. He was a prison I'm, inmate, I'm sure and I've he seen it and just forgot. He took this um, pill or something, and he tied it to a string, and he swallowed it. They show him in the prison cell, and he swallowed it. And then I think they were supposed to execute him, and they put him on the thing to execute him, and he wound up pulling out whatever he swallowed and and he cut the throat of the person that was strapping him into the on the table and he got he escaped from prison um it has something to do with somebody's kid i don't remember he took a kid hostage or something it was a whole thing but he was hot as hell whole throat, oh, i gotta whole watch month. that yeah that does not sound familiar let me look that up <laughs> I, I think it was called disturb let me i'm gonna look it up it was like disturbance yeah. or something or oh, god damn it God yeah, damn it, Michael, Angel. Michael Keaton can do no wrong. Everything that I've ever seen him in is like instant like, you know, because it's him. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised you know about Johnny Dangerously. A lot of people don't. It's but like, oh. definitely not in my community. They don't, you know, like talk about like the one of the best satire movies. Like, yes. seriously. <laughs> Everybody needs to see Johnny Dangerously. I can't see the chat, but if you have not seen that, Johnny Dangerously. Okay, that's Johnny really cool. Michael Dangerously. Keaton. Yes. I <laughs> remember really Multiplicity. That, that was a good one. Yep, yep. I remember that. That was good. Okay. What else was he in? I know he played, um, he was in the Spider-Man movie. That's the most, that's like one of the most recent things he was in within the last couple of years with Marvel. It's called... Desperate measures. That sounds familiar, but I don't think I saw it. Okay, thank you. I'll look that up. Yeah, it came out um, around the same time as Johnny Dangerously and the Night Shift. Do you remember Night Shift? I remember Night Shift. I remember Mr. Mom. Remember that yeah. one? Yeah, oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, I can't think. It's, I know he was in a lot of stuff, but a lot. That yeah. man was like the thing, you know? Yeah. Damn it, I keep hitting all the wrong buttons. <laughs> I was listening to you yeah, last night. Um, are you feeling better today? Yeah. You Good. know, it, if it was one of my family members, it would be different. But it was more like a in-the-moment feeling. I'm sure it'll come back again, you know, if, if and when she transitions. But it was just, like, draining. But thank you. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's mm -hmm. good. I'm so happy that, um, yeah, yeah, she, uh, Cascade got it, Queen Cascade. Um, oh, I'm so happy that um, you joined me to talk mm -hmm. about Tim Burton. And here's the thing, Angel. Um, do you have anything else to say? Because if not, I'm going to end this live. And then no. I'm going to start another live because I have some things to say that don't have anything to do with Tim Burton. And I don't want to muddy up his name that way. Oh, ish. Let me jump down. No, girl. Again, thank <laughs> you. you. You gave me a walk down memory lane of some of the movies I forgot about. But yes, Team Good. Tim I'm Burton, so happy girl, that, you know, you maybe you'll be talking about Beetlejuice. I cannot wait. Okay. Can't wait. <laughs> Yeah, imagine right. sparks the dark imagination in all of us. Let's go. Yes. All right, girl. I'm dropping down. See you. Okay. All right, y'all. Tim Burton is the man. Um, we talked about a lot of his movies, where he's from, you know, his personal life. If if you don't watch any of these movies that I talked about today, and if you don't know much about Tim Burton at all, and you're like, who the hell is Tim Burton? Take yourself somewhere and find the movie Big Fish from 2003 and you will not be disappointed. And don't forget to watch Beetlejuice. I'm, I'm like, I'm getting some sort of monies, but don't forget to watch Beetlejuice. It's coming out in September, part two, coming out in September. And then when it comes out and then I watch it um, the way I'm going to watch it. We'll come back here and talk about it. that'll be a, that's a that's a ways off though. But until next time, peace. peace.